Hello everyone. This is Bollo Jivashishta from Aerobi. Today I am going to explain about optical feedback concept and working principle. So what is an optical feedback? Optical feedback is nothing but an optical resonator in which in which it contains the two slides or two mirrors in which the laser or the light travels from one partial reflected place to the permanent reflected place. Next, optical feedback. The effects of optical feedback in semiconductor laser have been studied from beginning of their development. Rich and Wormod 1977, Wormod 1977 and Gravelitz at 1977. In early 1980, Lang and Kobayashu published a milestone paper in on the effects of on the effects of optical feedback in semiconductor laser, which initiated an enormous research in which enamel research in which an effort devoted to the studies of the dynamic induces by optical feedback. Since then, stability, instability, and self fluctuations and coherence collapse states have been observed in the feedback induced irregular oscillations in semiconductor lasers. In 1980, Miles, Gales, and Les and Cho and Umeda in semiconductor lasers self-optical feedback effects and frequently used for the control of oscillation frequency, selection of mode and suppression of side modes. Indeed, the line width of laser oscillation can be stabilized by a strong optical feedback and stripping of oscillations. Frequency can be compensated by optical feedback. And in 1982, Goldsberg and in 1983, Tamburgani and in 1984, Agarwal and Lin have made that, on the other hand, the semiconductor laser shows unstable oscillations for a certain range of optical feedback levels. So, what is the working principle of optical feedback or optical resonator? An optical resonator is needed to build up in the light energy in the beam. The resonator is formed by placing a pair of mirrors facing each other so that the light emitted along the line between the mirrors is reflected back and forth. When a population inversion is created in the medium, what is population inversion? Population inversion is nothing but the, the electrons of the new the electrons from the lower energy level to higher energy level. It contains more electrons in higher energy level. When it occurs in the create medium, light reflected back and forth increases in intensity with each passes through the laser medium. Other light leaks around the mirrors without being amplified. In an actual <coughs> laser cavity, one or both mirrors transmit a fraction of incident light. The fraction of light transmitted, that is the laser beam, depends upon the type of laser. If the generator lasers a continuous beam, the amount of light added by stimulated emission on each round trip between the mirrors equal the light emerging in the beam pulse loses with the optical resonator. The working principle of optical re resonator in which it contains two mirrors in which the light passes and intensity of it changes with a partially reflected and fully reflected mirror. When the light passes from these mediums, we will get a light from it out, light from inside to outside that is the laser. So coming to the diagram of it, see, this is this is a partially reflected mirror and this is a fully reflected mirror in which total the lasing medium at a ground state. When these total electrons attach or they collide each other, they form the population inversion and the population inversion occurs at that spontaneous emission and stimulated emission occurs and then the light passes, the laser light passes outside of the mirrors. What is an oscillator? So oscillator is the main device in which the combination of laser medium and resonate cavity forms. What often is called simply a laser, but technically it is a laser oscillator. Oscillation determines many laser properties and it means that the device generates light internally. Without mirrors and resonate cavity, a laser would be just an optical amplifier. 
which and which can amplify light from an external source but not generated a beam internally elias nager a researcher at american optical demonstrated the first optical amplifier in 1961 but such devices were little used until the spread of communications based on fiber optics so coming to the point in oscillator the main courses are the optical resonator and the mirrors if there if the if the mirrors are not present in that oscillator it would be just an optical amplifier in which light passes from one place to another place if there is the mirrors the resonating cavity occurs and with the resonating oscillators we will have that amplification of light and then the light will get collided each other and will get laser light from inside so this is the principle in which the laser the middle one if we see that this is the laser pointing from the two optical resonators we will get the laser outside of it so optical feedback you know optical feedback there are two types of mediums in easy there are two types of method easiest method that that are cleaved end faces end faces must be parallel if there is no parallel if there is no parallel mirrors it would not reflect or it would not make any thing uses fresnel reflection there is an important reflection occurs in the optical field wave that is fresnel reflection formula is r is equal to n1 n minus 1 plus n minus 1 by n plus 1 whole square here where r is a fresnel reflection n is the number of oscillation occurs for gas as for germanium and arsenic gallium and arsenic we we'll have the fresnel reflection as 0.32 lazing condition require the net cavity gain to be 1 so that is r1 into r2 into exponential of g minus alpha into l is equal to 1 l is the lazing action where alpha is the cavity g is in a distributed mean g is distributed medium gain alpha is distributed loss r1 and r2 are the end faces reflected coming to the diagram here we have r1 we have r2 the gaining scattering at the active medium like the light coming from this side to reflects this side and passes this side the partially reflected mirror will emit the laser light so positive optical feedback positive optical feedback is achieved by inserting the amplifying medium inside a resonant cavity light in the cavity passes through the gain medium and is amplified it then bounces off the end mirrors and passes through the gain medium again getting amplified further so in positive optical feedback is achieved by inserting a playing medium so we should gain medium when the power supply is given from inside the electrons in it gains medium and reflects reflects back and the light will get output which is a laser there are two types of things which are high reflector and output coupler in high reflector the power supply will gain the medium and give it back to that the light cavity passes through the gain medium and it is amplified it then bounces off the end mirrors and passes through the gain medium of again getting amplified further so what are the effects of optical feedback there are many effects in optical feedback that are no optical feedback and with optical feedback we have when we are checking it there is no optical feedback the time taken and the laser spectrum will be in a straight graph with 0.11 megahertz and the cav the laser frequency tuning will be high and the cavitating resonate cavitate cavity resonance will be in the 10 kilobit form and the cavity transmission will be into 10 times with optical feedback it will log the range with a narrow spectrum and in cavity resonance it will be high the graph will be high with a less strength and cavity transmission will occur with 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 having the space to it of inducing laser bandwidth narrowing and laser frequency locking to the cavity mode is optimal coupling
So optical feedback and laser oscillation. Light amplification is a laser occurs when a photo colliding with an atom in excited energy state causes a simulated emission of a second photon and then both these photons release two more. See in light amplification, when the, when the photons collide each other with an atom, the, the excited energy causes and state causes the simulated emission of a second python and then the both photons release, photons release more energy. The continuation of this process effectively creates avalanche multiplication. And then when the electromagnetic waves associated with these photons are in the phase, waves associated with these photons are in phase. Amplified current emission is obtained to achieve the laser action, it is necessary to contain photons within the laser medium and maintain the condition for coherence. So friends, this is all, this is all for now. The optical feedback and optical resonator are very much important in our daily life for the lasing action and lasers and, and also in semiconductor lasers. This is very the useful thing in which we can create all things. Thank you.